What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you on Polestar, more specifically this upcoming week as far as what might cause some disruption in the stock price, go over some of the data points and where I see things going from here. Before I get into any of that, make sure I hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that, let's get right to it. So based on Friday, it did go up 1.46%. It bounced off of that very strong support that has been flirting with over the last three days. So that's been the saving grace. And Friday, there was a little bit reduced volume so 2.7 million shares being traded 5.2 is the average and that has been a little bit more of a common trend over the last week with Polestar which is kind of weird because that's inverse to what's been actually happening with a lot of the other growth stocks that have been getting a lot more attention on it so once again that's something to kind of consider and just be aware of but as far as this upcoming week there isn't really anything that could really disrupt the market with the exception of one thing and that is going to be the Fed interest rate decision that's coming out on Wednesday September the 20th so I feel like what Powell does say afterwards will definitely dictate where the market does go and like I've indicated in the past I do feel that 25 basis points was factored into the stock market so if they do actually keep it as flat that might be a good green light and justification for the broader market to kind of rally based on that so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below as far as what's been coming out from Polestar the last PR was on August the 31st so nothing really recently um, as far as SEC filing, so there was something that did come out on the 14th, and that was just more of an amended Q2 uh, for their earnings. So once again, just to kind of be aware of that. And speaking on deliveries, this was posted on Twitter by Bram. I just wanted to show you because these are some of the projections for Q3 numbers. And as you can see, so Q1, there was around 12,000 for, it looks like this is calculating deliveries and then 15 8 for um, q2 and based on at least july and august then most likely and assuming what's been coming out i guess for september that is kind of projecting around the 17 to 18 thousand so once again they are on track for their year end targets so i think this is a fairly good thing this is one thing that's really always puzzled me with polestar is that they actually get the good results they have good technology they've been investing a lot of money in technology in fact but yet if you look at the stock price it's garbage so kind of weird um, as far as that but definitely this is something to maybe look forward to potentially on a side note I do feel that they really need to explain themselves as well when it comes down to this I haven't covered this in a video so this is why I'm bringing this up right now but about Polestar making its own smartphone so when this came out I was kind of like why why exactly and it looks like based on in here they talk on how neo is essentially doing that as well but ultimately there is a gap and by them making this smartphone they can kind of customize the vehicle to your phone essentially so i think this might be a bigger kind of scenario kind of stuff but they definitely do need to speak on this during the next upcoming earnings so i'm not saying that this is a good thing or a bad thing it'll all come down to money and if they do lose a lot of money essentially on their next upcoming earnings then yes this is something to potentially I guess scrutinize a little bit more so until then this seems like a, a pretty good interesting idea outside the box but when it comes down to it as far as options activity seventeen thousand dollars in calls being purchased based on friday thirty two thousand in puts so based on this information people are assuming it is going to continue to trend down and over the last week it looks like around six hundred nine thousand in calls versus 1.33 million in puts so again based on this people are assuming that it is going to continue to to trend down if you are optimistic so looking at a lot of the calls it is anticipated to go between the 250 to three dollar range by the end of next week so kind of staying within the range if you are i guess negative essentially you are just assuming that for the most part it's going to be sub two dollars and fifty cents so you kind of have uh, both viewpoints on that as far as this like i mentioned big money hasn't been getting in based on friday there was only one transaction that did occur and that was for uh three hundred eight thousand dollars as a premium and these are all the transactions that have occurred on the dark pool and even when it comes down to the dark pool which is more commonly used for shorting even 
nothing's being purchased on that exchange as well. Again, both of these viewpoints are only over $100,000. So that's something to consider as well. And going back over to options activity, options activity, it is just merely a sentiment. It does not move the stock price at all. So once again, just be aware of that. So speaking on dark pool and shorting, I'll give you an overview of what shorts are doing. As I've said in the past, I don't see Pulse are being a short squeeze by any means. And since it does show short scores zero, you can already tell that Ortex is having some glitches right now but utilization is 98.18 percent and as far as what the data points are showing so zero uh, percent or na for the free float unfortunately so that's clearly wrong but 11.82 million shares overall are being shorted cost to borrow is 11.32 percent based on from what i've been able to gather i think what it's last been at least looking right here so last short interest is and was around maybe four or five percent so it's always been like that with polestar so it's not been that heavily shorted of a stock um, so of course that's a pretty positive thing but as far as what to expect for this upcoming week like i said i covered a lot of the updates from the company what to expect from some of the data points let's talk on the technicals so as it stands right now with it being at two dollars and 78 cents based on the fib levels it is currently between this s3 and this s2 and of course that isn't good because any stocks that's ultimately trading between that range so the s3 to the s2 is kind of very bad stocks essentially uh, i would use a little bit more of a stronger word but when it comes down to a lot of the other comparable evs most of them in fact are between this s1 and the pivot so polestar is still continuously lagging i do feel that it will come down to a point where Pulsar will eventually correct itself so there will be a very fast spike up but until then it seems to be no buyers and like I mentioned just the reduced volume no actual transactions on the dark pool very little on the secondary market somehow just people do not like Polestar uh, as a stock they like the vehicle because clearly people are buying it uh, based on this um, at pretty good amounts in fact but whether they like the stock, that seems to be another topic. And that's obviously what we care about, right? We care about the stock price going up, essentially. So as it stands right now, $2.36 is a very strong support. $2.89, which it did fail to get above on Friday, is a very strong resistance. So going into next week, that is definitely something to watch and consider. But if Powell is very optimistic, like I said, and they do not raise the rates, then I do feel that it could automatically correct and trade between this S2 to this S1, so between $2.89 and $3.21. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. As far as this shows, number of retail investors have been getting out. So this is where you do get the reduced volume. Both institutions and retail investors are not really buying Polestar. Stochastic is currently at three, which is considered very, very oversold, but there isn't any defined trend right now. So based on the technicals, I think there is some optimism. The fact that it did bounce off a very strong support but generally speaking a lot of the other data points i've been mentioning are kind of negative as of right now but like i mentioned a lot of this is just short-term stuff that i've been bringing up if you do believe in post our bigger picture then yes take advantage of these discounted prices because you never know in a decade or several years from now realistically i would assume that pulsar would be significantly higher based on a lot of their projections for the following years on deliveries and their technology ramping up i feel like big things will come for pulsar but in the short term it looks like there might be a little bit more pain essentially but once again it will all 100 percent rely back down onto what Powell does say. So let me know your thoughts on all of this. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. But one final thing I just wanted to share with you, take advantage of this promo with Moomoo. Sign up for an account, completely free to do so. But if you throw $100 at that account, you get five free stocks. Each stock can be valued up to $2,000. So link in the description below and also the comments to take advantage of this only up until September the 30th. With all that said, I appreciate you all watching.